Is it all talk or a threat that has to be taken, not just seriously, but even involving some changing in policing and protection? Well, that's the question that law enforcement has to struggle with after someone posted a new threat against New York City, a threat reportedly coming from Al-Qaeda. And Andrew, I think a lot of people have maybe seen this picture. Tell us more. What's the background? Still not sure exactly what we're dealing with here, Rich. And it, uh, for a lot of people, it feels more like a movie poster than a credible threat against the city. But officials are taking it seriously. So they struggle to figure out just how serious this online threat is and what New York should do about it. The image posted on a radical website could not be more stark. Al-Qaeda coming soon again in New York. We are still uh, obviously very much concerned about the, uh, uh, the origination of this message. It reminds us that New York is uh, still very much on their minds. The image combines a stock New York City skyline shot with a sidewalk scene. Authorities suspect the author may be Egyptian based on the style of Arabic used on the website. Get out of the street! There hasn't been a plot targeting New York City since the failed Times Square car bomb in 2010. Officials say there's no sign of a specific new plot, but they are sparing no effort to find out whether this poster is wishful thinking or something more. Nobody in U.S. intelligence and security wants to be the person who overlooked a clue. Uh, that's happened in the past, uh, and we've paid for it. Every U.S. intelligence agency is trying to find out if radicals posting on the site are in a position to know details of possible terrorist operations. Since 9-11, U.S. intelligence has closely monitored thousands of radical Islamic websites. So the internet is, uh, as we used to say, with the new Afghanistan. Uh, that's where training happens, that's where radicalization happens. The NYPD not taking any specific extra security measures as a result of the online posting, though that could change at any moment, and there are already plans to beef up security near the city's synagogues in advance of Passover, which begins Friday night. And if police do decide to beef up checkpoints at subways or at bridges and tunnels, well, that's something that most New Yorkers have gotten used to since 9-11, and that's not all. We've seen the NYPD spy on and even infiltrate Muslim groups with no probable cause or even reason to worry, trailing them across state lines and into places like river rafting trips. The NYPD and other police agencies can now track and trace cell phone calls in use to see where you are and who you're talking to. No warrant required. Of course, you can go almost anywhere in Manhattan and odds are you'll be recorded by either a public or private security camera. Images and information that can be turned over to the NYPD at their request without a warrant or your knowledge. Add that to the bevy of t new techniques available to the NSA, their ability to intercept any phone call in the nation, no warrant required, or track your web history or request your records from libraries or even your employer without you knowing and without a judge signing off. Rich. All right. Um, we've had this debate many times, Dominic. Yes, uh, we you have. got to have the, you, at one end you're talking privacy here, and on the other end it's protection, and more and more people are saying you can't have both at the same time. And I just got to add, New York's never going to not be under terror threat again. I think we can assume for the rest of its, there will always be threats. So if those threats never go away, you know the police response is never going to go away either. Right. Now, for me, they're not following me on a rafting trip. Not that I'm hitting the white waters too often as it is, but um, they're following Muslim. And as we've seen, different people are getting different levels of scrutiny. You got a problem with that when you see pictures like that, or do you think it comes to the territory about being a New Yorker? It's a, a fuzzy line. Uh, when you're following students on... By the way, Bill, you see what he's doing right there? He, he, he's, but, he's not but, taking a side. But, he's but, on but, well, yeah, fuzzy well, line. Yes. Well, uh, well, if you're talking personally, I don't have a problem. I don't feel I have anything to hide. So I don't have a problem with the NYPD monitoring my phone calls. I mean, it's all... It's the times that we live in, sadly. But if, but if I'm an 18-year-old college student at City College going whitewater rafting, I don't understand why the NYPD has to infiltrate and have someone there monitoring. You're going to break but, up Ben Franklin but, for but me here? I, I am going to say, but that's the yeah. part that, that bothers me the most, which is, you know, no, you don't have anything to hide, but you're still among the most likely to wind up having your phone calls tapped or your movements traced. Guess or, what? It's been that way since I was born. I understand, but that doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't make it right, and that doesn't mean we <laughs> sign over permission to the NYPD to just let it happen. And, and as Rich mentioned, I'm with Ben Franklin on this, and if we can throw the Franklin quote up, it's, uh, he who would trade liberty for some temporary security deserves neither liberty nor security. Ben said it better than I could. I've just, just got to say, on this, on this whole storyline, it can't be this easy to make news in New York. 
I mean, you, you have somebody just yeah. throw this up on a blog, you gotta be kidding me. And, and then they go to Ray Kelly, and what's Ray Kelly gonna say? I'm taking it seriously, of course he is. I mean, the police are taking it seriously every day of the week. Somebody throws a movie poster up on a website. But a lot has changed in 10 years, and you know this, oh, New Yorker, right? Yeah. In terms of what we either knew or didn't have any clue, but we've gone along to get along in New York, and now some people are saying, wait a second, since when do the cops get the green light to go to Jersey, Connecticut, uh, wherever they want to go, the NYPD, just because they say so. I think the NYPD is mild compared to what Google does to us. I mean, every, everybody's looking into it. It's, as Dominic said, it's the, it's, it's the way surveillance There's is done difference. today. There's a difference. When you're going online and you're actively using Google, you live in New York. You're not expecting New York to be all up in your business. But I, I, have, I have no trouble with the NYPD coming into my Catholic church. And sitting down, I have no, I have no trouble with it. NYPD has has thwarted eleven terrorist attacks. Yeah, but, but you know, Andrew, let, let me respectfully ask you this question. Go ahead. Don't be respectful. How, yeah. <laughs> how, how are they going to stop the next terrorist attack? I mean, the, and, and I understand, you know, we, but we have to take all these things seriously because if if this if a bomb went off the next day, God forbid. Ray Kelly would be greatly scrutinized because the NYPD you know, if was I not could on jump top in, of where this. Where I feel on this one is, it's kind of like the last debate. In some cases, you know, don't dance around here. If you if you think there's an imminent threat here, do what you got to do. Okay, and we'll have the debate later on. But if I told you guys, and you know, because this is now the law of the land, that even without a warrant, even without any tangible evidence, I can go to your employer. And I can have that employer turn over all your employment records. I can go to your library and I can see what books you read. I can end up going to your bank and have them turn over all your records and where you're spending your money and everything else. Just because I say so, this uh, is America. I'm, I'm, and, and to me, that kind of stuff gets scary because hey, it's one thing in the aftermath of 9-11, we're all talking about protecting the homeland. But where does this start and where does this end? And that's the part that I'm just not comfortable with. And I'm with Rich. It would be easy enough with any reasonable doubt or any and that's reasonable, legal right now in America. reasonable suspicion to find a judge and get a warrant because I want a set of independent eyes looking at this to make sure basically that Joe, the cop who lives next door to me, who's you know, thinks I was flirting with his girlfriend, isn't putting me under special surveillance for personal reasons. I don't have an easy answer for this one, yeah, but I know it's not an easy uh, as easy subject as some on the other side like to say, which is, hey, you got nothing wrong, you do nothing wrong, you got nothing to worry about. I just don't think it's as easy as that.